Hey, what's going on, everybody? How y'all doing? It's your boy Jay Laron with Jay Laron Presents. Now, got a video here, man. Everybody been talking about the Cat Williams, you know, thing on Club Shay Shay. So I got a video here from a guy. Um, let me see if I can pull up his name. I forgot his name already. But uh, it's called Night and Day Talk Media. They pulled up a, a video of Bernie Mac's daughter. You know, and she was talking about the whole Cat Williams you know, thing. And let's just hear what Bernie Mac's daughter has to say and what she thought about Cat Williams and how he spoke about Bernie. So you guys, if you haven't, let's go ahead and get with it. Um, like I said, this this channel, we talk about the facts, foolishness and black female effery. Uh, we have no black female effery on here, but we do have, you know, just some facts cause like I said, it's Bernie Mac's daughter. So we're gonna listen to her. And this is fair use, fair use. If you haven't go ahead hit that like button subscribe and share and um subscribe share all right let's go ahead and get into it all right fair use fair use because you shit on bernie and i know the truth so i keep getting uh lots of contact about my thoughts on the uh cat williams interview on club <laughs> Peace and love, family. Welcome to Night and Day Talk Media. The internet streets has been on fire since Cat Williams' interview on Shannon Sharp's podcast, Club Shay Shay, while the late great comedian Bernie Mac's daughter speaks out in response to Cat mentioning her father's name in regards to the other kings of comedy comedians shitting on Bernie behind his back and tried to replace him with Cat Williams. Here's what Bernie's mm. daughter Janice had to say. So I keep getting... Uh lots of contact about my thoughts on the uh cat williams interview on club shay shay the interview heard around the world yes, it was. <laughs> and i don't know my it, my take is probably gonna be really really boring um number one i want people to keep in mind my dad has been dead for 15 years so i have not been fully immersed in the world of comedy i don't know the ins and outs of that like that anymore because my end has been gone for 15 years you know i've got friends in the game but we don't sit and talk about you know stuff like that so you know, i don't know cat williams uh never met him that's one person i never did get to meet when my dad was alive but from everything that i've ever heard my dad you know say he's always seemed like a stand-up dude so i have no qualms no quarrels with him um i thought the interview was hilarious entertaining that man dropped so many uh one-liners that i'm sure we are going to be wearing down to the ground yes, he did. in this year yeah. of our lord 2024 but um i one of my biggest takeaways in, in watching people's responses was how people were kind of like oh that's kind of sad like outside of being you know tickled by it and i've seen people say stuff like it's like watching you know your uncles go at it and you're like oh why can't we all just get along well i mean because everybody doesn't get along like i think that's one of the mis conceptions about comedians and I guess it's due to the fact that what they do bring so much joy to others that the perception the expectation is that behind closed doors everybody gets along everybody just it's just it's love and no it's not it's they've always been competitive like I it's always been um as far as I've ever witnessed in watching my dad it's always been um kind of cutthroat like You'll have, you know, people beefing, like, same as in within your family. Just because y'all related don't mean y'all all get along, right? Comedy's no different. Um, 
But for me, Cat Williams has my utmost appreciation and respect for giving my dad his props and his flowers. And I felt like it was genuine. There are some people who have given, you know, my dad his flowers now that he's dead that I'm looking at like, you know, doggone well, he wasn't doing it when he was alive. And that, not just famous people, just people all across the board. As my dad used to say, you ever want to be loved by everybody? You ever want to be special? Just die. It's real easy to give lip service when somebody yep. dies and you oh, That's facts. That's true. Oh. And that's not how you felt when they were alive. But when Kat spoke of my dad, for me, I felt his heart. I felt that it was genuine and I appreciate it. Um, again, it's been 15 years since my dad's been dead. If you follow me at all, you know I've said this repeatedly, like it does my heart good to know that my dad was a stand up guy, that the man that I knew him to be was who he actually was to people. Cause that's the thing, like we can love people and think they one way and then find out later. No, and I say like in 15 years, if he was an asshole, somebody by now would have been like, eh, let me tell you about that. Mama. So that makes me so proud. And I just really appreciate what I believe the genuine love and respect that Cat Williams showed my father. It is so much appreciated much love and mad props to Cat Williams. I would love to sit down and just have a conversation with Cat Williams because I think that it would probably be mo the most entertaining and gem dropping conversation I probably would have in my life. <laughs> outside I of believe that should happen. So, yeah, so <laughs> that's my take. Like I said, probably boring, but that's what I thought. Again, much love and respect to Cat Williams. Bernie's daughter seems like a sweet, kind-hearted woman that really yep. have respect for all the comedians and the laughter they bring to the world. We want to say continue to rest in peace to the late, great Bernie Mac. Make sure to comment your thoughts below. But yeah, I mean, yeah, shout out to Bernie Mac, man. Rest in peace, Bernie Mac. He's one of the greatest. Like I said, to me, Bernie Mac killed the kings of comedy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All the reason I watched it was to see Bernie. But um, but yeah, y'all tell me what you think, man. And like, you know, Bernie Mac's daughter said, a lot of people show a lot of people that lip service right when you like you said when you when you pass away a lot of people you know say how they respected you how they respected certain people and stuff like that but and she also said that cat was the most genuine right you know a lot of people pay their respects and she like i said she could tell some were genuine about it and some weren't and that's in the industry and out of the industry right so but yeah you guys let me know what y'all think about it drop some comments down below it's your boy Jay Larone with Jay Larone Presents. You guys, if you haven't, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, like, and share. And you guys, peace. Well, I'm about to fuck that up. But yeah, you guys, please be good to yourself by all means. Let's be good to one another. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow. Feel like it's going to be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit, and the coffee ain't hit yet, damn, ain't that great I don't wanna go to work, cause my boss is a jerk, and I'm not even that paid I need a change in my life, cause I don't feel alive, and there's nothing that makes me happy Oh, Hold my beer for a minute, I'm about to quit my job, cash in for a ticket I'm going on a trip, and I don't plan to visit I'm gonna stay there till I feel like I'm winning, oh and this is just the beginning I need a big change, help me feel like living I need a big swing, home runs I'm hitting And I'll never look back, moving on till I get it all And we all got dreams We all want things But what you gonna do for it? How you gonna move for it? What you gonna be? And do you believe We can do anything But what you gonna do for it? How you gonna move for it? What you gonna be?
I gotta make it in this life Whatever makes me happy, know I'm doing things right Sipping in the summer on a goose and Sprite Or find a nightclub for the end of the night, oh And we all got dreams We all want things But what you gonna do for it? How you gonna move for it? What you gonna be? And do you believe?